hey y'all welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is marina today's video i'm so excited about because it is in collaboration with my best youtube friend on here kim from kim's farmhouse life cue the kim montage right now <laughs> she is my best friend on here i love her and i just i just love her so i am sure you are already subscribed to her but if you're not her link will be in the channel below look how cute courtney looks right there i thought she'd get a kick out of me adding her in um but click on the link below if you're not subscribed to her you want to be subscribed to her she does cooking she does cleaning she does all the things i talk to her so much on instagram it's not even funny um i would literally drive down to texas if she needed anything not even kidding I would drive down there if she needed a loaf of bread i'd give her one so go check her out let's get into this video so all these recipes kim did choose for me she chose my entire meal plan the first meal she chose was enchilada pasta it was super good y'all i couldn't taste it but i imagined it was good and it was a hit with my kiddos So I started off by getting the chicken boiling and boiling the noodles. I'm pretty sure the right way to boil noodles is to add them to boiling water. <laughs> but I always just end up turning on the eye after I already have the noodles in there. It works for me, y'all. This recipe calls for some Velveeta cheese. Now, I normally don't keep this in my house because it just antagonizes me. I just want to eat it plain. But since it called for it, I was like, okay, we're going to try this. And I actually only ate one slice without it being in anything. So that's pretty good. Um, I add this to a bowl. And then I add some shredded, a cup full of shredded Monterey Jack cheese and a cup full of milk. So I heated that up in the microwave, stirred in my noodles, and then I shredded up my chicken and added my jalapenos. I couldn't even, at this point with the COVID, I could not even smell those things. A whole can of enchilada sauce. I can't remember what else I'm waiting. Oh, a taco packet. <laughs> I really should edit these the night of. Oh, and half a cup of butter because I can't remember. And then you stir that all up real good. Pour the chicken mixture onto the cheesy noodles. Now at this point, I'm like, this does not look good. This looks like throw up in a pan, but my stomach did not object. And even though I couldn't taste it, my kids could, and they said it tasted awesome. So it, it, it was good. I, I would advise it. I would, I would have y'all try it. So in my oven, it took 32, about 32 minutes on 375 to bake. And about five minutes before it was done, I added some Colby Jack cheese on the top. Does anybody's pot holders go MIA or is it just mine? Because I'm using a Granimals toddler shirt right now as a pot holder. <laughs> Not sponsored. Kim also suggested that I have it with a side salad and some garlic bread. So your girl did just that. The second meal she suggested was Coca-Cola meatballs. Okay, so for the first part, you're going to need breadcrumbs, a bell pepper, an egg, an onion, hamburger meat, salt, pepper, and minced garlic. I don't want to waste my time. It also calls for a tablespoon of water, a tablespoon and a half of minced garlic. You're not supposed to add this to this. You're supposed to add it to the sauce, but I added it to this and the sauce. It turned out fine. Don't string me along the way you I added about three-fourths a cup of breadcrumbs. I used only half of the bell pepper and only half of the onion. Whoa! 
Dad, you nab it. I'm trying to get with this little pioneer woman. She a pioneer woman. Stay away from me. <laughs> Banks is trying to get in on that chair. <laughs> to start charging for my concerts until I get monetized. <laughs> I'm gonna ask y'all to blame whoever suggested I add more singing in my videos for the, this next clip right here. <laughs> hey, I've been out on her forehead. Well, I guess stop coming and I don't stop coming back to the world and I hit the round running. It makes sense, but don't look for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see, so much wrong with taking the back street. You never know where you're gonna go. You never shine, you don't know. Hey now, you're an all star, cause you're game on. Go, hey, hey now, you're an all star, cause you're game on. Go, play all the winners. So, uh, you're an all star, cause you're game on. Go, play all the winners. So, uh, unless you a star, break a mojo. <coughs> it's a cold day, but the shade is cooler. Yeah, I'm gonna put it up, hope, and it's not like it's just ice cream face, it's game creepy. World's on fire, how about yours? That's the way I like it or whatever you're for. Hey now, you're an all-star. Game on, go, hey, hey now. <laughs> Tell me y'all heard him say that. Two words. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so now I'm just rolling these meatballs out into a well a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm um, uh, spacing them apart just a little bit of ways in my little pan. This is real life me every five minutes reading my little note sheet I have because I film on my phone so I write everything down and I'm like wait what did I write here because my handwriting's chicken scratch.
Then I just pop these bad boys in the oven on 350 for an hour. The next meal she chose for us was this barbecue bacon chicken, and she said baked beans, but I've never tasted a baked bean, so I made pinto beans and cornbread because I'm Southern. So we had to put the pinto beans in the crock pot before we did anything. So I just put half a bag of pinto beans, and then I salted and peppered it, added seven cups of water and about three pieces of bacon, uh, just kind of chopped up. I had to add seven cups of water because I didn't soak my beans. I kind of didn't sort them either, but I found out I was supposed to sort them because I don't want worms, but I didn't know that they had worms. Um, anyways. For the chicken, you're gonna need chicken breast, a thing of bacon, some Colby Jack cheese, a barbecue sauce, and then seasonings. This stuff right here is just like pork chop seasoning. I'm just seasoning my chicken with pork chop seasoning. <laughs> and this is just some fancy pepper. Then I give my chicken a bath and barbecue sauce. Add some bacon on top. For the cornbread, you're gonna need three eggs, bacon powder, cornmeal mix, butter, all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, salt, oil, and milk. I cooked that chicken on 400 for 25 minutes, by the way. Um, I added a cup of cornmeal, two cups of flours, and a cup of sugar. I said two cups of flours. I meant just two cups of flour. And then I added about a tablespoon and a half of bacon powder. I added about a tablespoon of salt. Okay, probably about, yeah, about a tablespoon of salt. I whisked together all my dry ingredients. Then in a separate bowl, I added all my wet ingredients, three eggs, a cup of butter, about three-fourths cup of butter, about half a cup of oil, and two cups, well, about a cup and a half of milk. All of these recipes in detail will be in the description box below. I baked this cornbread on 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. If you don't like sweet cornbread, don't try it. And after the chicken was done, I added some cheese on the top. And this is what I had right here. It, it was good. Don't click off this video. I know that looks like throw up, but it's actually kind of tasty. It's kind of like cracked chicken. Um, what she had for this night was cheesy chicken and rice and rolls. I didn't have any rolls. I didn't feel like making rolls from scratch, so I just made some garlic bread. So you put three chicken breasts in the bottom of your crock pot a packet of onion soup mix and a can of cream of chicken you want to cook that on i did on high for four hours okay so i'm supposed to put four to six ounces i don't think that this is four to six ounces so i'm going to add this like so and then i'm going to take this liquid gold pouch and um if it's too much that's okay you can always have too much cheese but you don't want not enough gonna add this and then I'm gonna add about a cup and a half of sour cream so about 20 minutes before it's done you're just gonna add four ounces of cheese I think I did have just four ounces in that little cube and then um, a cup and a half of sour cream and you eat it with rice that's what we had for dinner I hope you guys have a blessed morning evening night whatever it is wherever you're at and check out Kim
dang it first time i ever ran out of time on my videos go check out kim i love her kim thank you for doing this with me i will catch you guys on the flip side